Hi, seven years ago um, I did a video when I first got my Walco WM18 mil. Um, since that time I've done quite a few modifications so I thought I would bring you up to speed and show you the things that I've been doing with it. Okay and here she is. Right, um, the first thing I wanted was I wanted to have um, a power feed on the Z axis. Um, I started off with a NEMA 23, but unfortunately um, that was just not strong enough um, and it would quite often stall. So um, having the thought that I had another project in mind, which I'll show you, I upgraded it to a NEMA 34 and so much better. Um, in, in fact, it can overcome when I've got the, uh, the brake on. And if I pull back, here you can see the controller for it. Um, quite simple, we've got a speed, an on and off, and an up and down. So, there you can see it. And by adjusting the speed, Okay, the next thing, as you can see, um, I've now got a uh, air supply mist cooling system for it. Um, I did try a flood uh, cooling system for it, and it did exactly that. It flooded the whole of the hut, um, so I gave up on that idea and went to this. This is much better. Um, right, what else have I done? Uh, you'll notice that the control box here is no longer attached here. Um, <clears throat> the main reason for that was when you rotate the head 90 degrees, you end up with the control box down here and it just gets in the way. So I've mounted it on a an arm here, put the wiring through there and um, it, I can now move it about and it's all, it can, I can move it right out the way when I want to swivel the head. Uh, 90 degrees um, What else have I done right the other the other big upgrade that I did was with the old NEMA 23 I created a y-axis power feed uh, Again, here's the control box and the forward and backward switch here and you can see backwards And forwards and again I can control the speed like so um, let's see if I can get a little bit closer basically uh, you can see that's the main plate that holds the motor to the main body of the mill with some slots so I can adjust the belt I made a modification here with the pulley. You can just see the pulley in there. Um, and I put a cover on it so that I didn't trap my little fingers in it. Um, and that's basically it. The only thing I've had to do was um, I had to replace this, the motor burnt out. Um, now, a Walker wanted 480 quid. For a new one, um, you can get this on uh, eBay for around about £185. So, uh, worth having a search on eBay. Uh, and I think, is there anything else I've done? No, oh, I think that's it. Thank you. There is the... Uh, uh, bleh, bleh.